Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about the uh, string class, especially the split function on it, and how this function acts a little bit strangely. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so uh, the, the split method of the string class has two different modes in Python, uh, and this can often be a little bit tricky and something that's uh, easy to mess up. So let me just show you the first basic mode first. So if we have like uh, foo bar baz, and we call split on it with a single string that is a one character white space, uh, what's going to happen here is it's going to you know find that string in these two places and give you a list that contains these other two items. And again, if we make this string longer, so let's say it's two spaces here, we will again get the same result. Uh, but if one of them is only one space, you'll see that it's left alone like that. And that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty normal. Uh, one kind of weird edge case with this uh, edge case with this is if your string ends with that split string, you will get an empty string as part of your list. And this might not be desirable. Uh, I'll show you in a bit like <laughs> how we can fix this in, in a second uh, because the split function actually has another mode. The other mode is split function. Uh, it takes no arguments and it will. Uh, you know, split on white space and any number of white space characters. So you can see we had two white space characters here, we had one here, and we ended up splitting those two. You'll notice here that it also ignores uh, white space at the end of the string. It also ignores it at the beginning, but you know, if it ignores it at the end, it probably ignores it at the beginning. Uh, but you'll notice that we don't get those empty strings here. And again, if we go back up here and we had put, you know, two spaces at the beginning, we would have gotten empty strings bordering the beginning or the end. Um, and so this is kind of like the other mode of split. So in, in the white space mode of split, it doesn't keep the ends, uh, but in normal split, it does. And uh, note that it's any white space character when we do this here. So if you had like tabs or, oops, tabs or new lines or form feeds or all sorts of different white space characters, it's going to ignore, uh, or it's going to split on all of those, not just normal normal spaces. Uh, now, you might want to write a version of split that acts more like this one, and so I'm going to write a little function that does that. Uh, the trick here is we need to look, uh, just ends with and starts with and remove items from this list if it matches your split thing. So um, let's see, split like no arg uh, s and then split stir. So first we're going to make a list which is the result of s.split, s.split, split stir. And then we need to remove either the beginning or the end uh, in that in that other case. So if s dot ends with split stir, then we are going to lst dot pop. This is going to remove one item from the end. Uh, and then if s dot starts with split stir, then we need to remove the first item. We can just do list dot gets as it remove. This uh, import list, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, lst dot remove zero. Uh, lst dot pop zero? Yeah, okay. So we need to do lst dot pop zero, which is going to remove the first item and then, you know, return lst. So in this case, if we use our special split like no arg and we have foo bar baz, uh, and then we're splitting on two spaces. We should get, yeah, you'll see it remove the beginning and the end. Um, if we had left this like this, or if we had you know another argument here, it would do that. Uh, but anyway, this is how you could write a split function which acts more like that. Uh, and actually, I have a function like this in, uh, it's not exactly like this because it can only have you know uh, null bytes at the end of the string. Uh, but if we go to pre-commit util, I believe it's called z split. Where is it? Grab z split. Yeah, it's in, I guess it's in the git module, uh, but this is splitting on a null byte, so. Oh, there's another edge case, which this reminds me of. Um, if you are doing an empty string and you split on a character, you're going to get a list with a single empty string in it. However, if you don't have an argument here, you won't get one. So this is another, yet another edge case with split uh, to look out for. So sometimes you'll end up with a, uh, a list that just has an empty string in it when you might not want that. And so that's actually what uh, this this case is handling here to make sure that this um, you know you don't empty string split there. Uh, but anyways, that's the split function in Python's string class. Hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.